Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void! Today it's gonna be a match between Showtime and Clem from DreamHack Summer 2020. Two incredible players, one more established, one young up and comer, and it's gonna be on Golden Wall. Bottom left hand corner, we have Clem, and in the bottom right hand corner, we have Showtime. So Germany versus France here. For your enjoyment, two players who are very excellent at this game. Clem is 18 years old. Showtime has been around for a while. He is probably the best foreigner Protoss player we have these days. I wonder how long, how old Showtime is. <laughs> it's funny, if you search Showtime, it's like, hey, you want to see a movie? Yes, Google, that's exactly what I'm searching for here. Uh, <laughs> Showtime. No, hang on. Where'd the... The oh, there's two Showtimes. There's a Korean Protoss who goes by Showtime as well. Lame. So he's 26. 26 years old. He's not an old man by any stretch. But compared to the 18-year-old Clem, he might as well be. So a PVT here. Long macro style on Golden Wall. Should be pretty exciting stuff. I'm very, very interested in seeing what's going to happen here. Whether the old guard will be enough to take down the young kid. Or whether the young and up-and-coming up Clem will just be too much for the 26-year-old Showtime to handle. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I feel like we're pretty evenly matched here, and I hope that's why you clicked on this too, is you feel like it's a pretty evenly matched match. Evenly matched match? Sure, that's what it is. Well, one gate expanding here is Showtime. No big deal. We got ourselves a Reaper on the way. Reaper's name is Hank Hill. He was told to bring propane and propane accessories to Emperor Mink's office. Even though he was just a delivery man, the minister accepting the shipment decided this fat, balding, middle-aged man was actually a pyrotechnic expert, and mandated he should be sent to the Hellbat Corps. However, the Hellbat commander decided Hank wasn't insane, so he kicked him over to the Reaper program instead. Yes, because everyone in the Reaper program is not insane. Ooh, bunker block here from Clem. A little bit of some annoying stuff here. He's going to make it so the Reaper has a place to come in, because normally on this map there's no hop-up spots. You have to come in through the front door with a Reaper, so the block is real. Is it enough? Did it buy enough time? I mean, the problem also is there's an Adept popping right now. That's why Reapers aren't super common in this matchup. Yeah, see the Adept and other Reapers like, oh. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Showtime is actually thrown off his game. He had four workers on his one of his assimilators there for a second, which is fantastic. Expansion here for Clem coming up quite nicely. He is getting a bunker at the front. He's worried about an Adept or a Stalker coming across the map and ruining his day. Having a bunker to fall back to is always a nice thing. And the Adept, yeah, he sees the Adept coming. Clem's awareness has always been very good. And I'm excited to see what he's going to do for us here. Factory coming up for Clem. How does he want to handle the Protoss today? Right? I haven't seen a lot of mech recently against Protoss. It's basically been a ton of bio, maybe some Widow Mines. Definitely getting ghosts with Enhanced Shockwave at some point. And for Protoss, it's largely just going to be Immortal Archon Colossus? Maybe? Something like that? We'll see. At least not early. You can't get that composition. As we get to later compositions, we can. Starport here for Clem. So 1-1-1-ing one, one, one it with the expansion. Very standard opening. And same thing here for Showtime, really. It's going for Blink Stalkers. This could be some kind of an insane Blink Stalker 2 base attack that Terran can find very hard to deal with. Even if they get tanks out, it could just cause problems for him because a bunch of Stalkers can Blink on top of tanks and one-shot them. The fact this is a robo indicates we're going to get Warp Prism and then we're going to get Stalkers and we're going to blink on top of everything and then it will be a bad day for Clem. So we'll keep an eye on that. Another Barracks on the way here for Clem. Another Barracks here too. So yeah, all the bio. All the bio in the live long day, which means eventually Showtime's going to have to get to some kind of splash damage. Whether it's Colossus, whether it is Storm, I don't actually know. Hellion trying to get stuff done. Adept chasing that away. He's already been severely injured. Tragically for him, it is a Raven. A Raven in production from Clem right now. I like it. It's just if suddenly there are surprise DTs, Raven. Suddenly surprise Mothership, Raven. Suddenly, I mean, okay, the detection aspect of it maybe not as great, but Interference Matrix is very good against big ticket items like Immortals and like Colossus. You can cause big, big, big deals against those big units, just shutting them down hardcore. Engineering Bay on from Clem from Upgrades, a third base about halfway done for Showtime up the right side. He doesn't really have much of an army. Four Stalkers, an Adept, and a Sentry. Uh, Clem, again, bigger army, eight Marines, a Raven, a Hellion. Marauders here at the same time. So Showtime going for a bit more of a macro-style opening, and Clem isn't keeping up economically that way. He does have mules, which is nice. 
Hey, look, a hallucinated phoenix from Showtime. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Trying to see what's what. The answer is... There's nothing surprising here at all. Combat shield stim on the way here, too. So far, yeah, not much, not much insanity going on, I don't say. Hit that like button, though, if you're enjoying the match so far. Hit that subscribe if you haven't. Uh, again, just as usual, about 60% of the views that I get on my videos are from people who aren't subbed. So <laughs> if you feel like subscribing, hit that button. Uh, I'm out here every day, guys. I am slinging it. I'm out here putting out new StarCraft content every single day of the week. I don't take weekends off. I'm casting on Saturday right now, in fact, for this Monday cast. I believe it's Monday anyway, so I hope you enjoy it, because I really like casting. If I didn't like casting, I wouldn't have 3,000 videos on my channel of StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2, now would I? Probably not. Probably not the case. Additional gateways on the way here from Showtime, and yeah, I mean, basically not going for any kind of a crazy all-in style attack. He's getting Immortals, he's got the sentries for Force Fields if he needs them, and what's the splash damage going to be, Showtime is the question. Uh, Raven, so this is going to be auto turret her ass here out of, I'm not sure if the, obs the Observer saw that. The Observer is in super observation mode, so definitely saw it. Oh, and he's ready for it. See, Observer placement right here is really good. Protoss players on this map, if you're worried about drops and stuff murdering you, look at him. He's going to kill the Observer in revenge. No? He's not going to drop an auto turret and kill that Observer? Alright, that's cool, I guess. It's fine. Marines, Marauders, stim it across the map here. The Stalkers can't engage with that at all, and again, there's no splash damage. This might be the last engagement we see where Showtime doesn't have any splash damage available to him because it's going to be tough at this point in time. He's got Guardian Shield. He's got Charge Lots. He's going to kill a bunch of those units at the front. The Widow Mine's going down, getting some hits off there as well. The Immortal's really good against the Marauders, but handling the Marines is really the big problem here for this particular composition that Showtime is rolling with. How do you handle a bunch of Marines with Stim, with Combat Shield, with upgrades? Because that is when things get really scary. They already have plus one attack. The Concussive Shell is on the way now for Clem. He's got his third base coming up at that gold. But again, Showtime just has the better economy at the moment. If we look at the income tab, which we have, yeah, see, check it out. Showtime, about 500 more minerals per minute there, which adds up over time and over time. So Clem getting a gold base to kind of try to catch back up and get more minerals per return on the gold is not a bad thought. It really isn't. And again, just coming right on, he's like, hey, check it out. I have two medevacs coming. I'm going to fly right over this observer that I know exists because I threw a raven through here just a couple of minutes ago. What is Clem doing? Like, hey man, why don't you check take a look at these guys? I guess attacking the third base at the same time is kind of cool, but I mean, Showtime didn't overreact to the drop coming into the main base at all. Auto turret does get a few kills there, three probes go down, but overall, it's not really enough to bother Showtime all that much. And yeah, I gotta say, Showtime's doing all right. Apparently, Pump left the game. Uh, apparently, a disconnect happened there because we had to resume from pause, according to the words at the moment. There's your storm. Okay, so Showtime's working on storm for his splash damage. That's his answer to the Terran here today. And more medevacs at a four medevac drop is coming on in. But again, there's just too much. He is going to unload anyway. All right, man. Interesting choice, I guess. The Widow Mines burrow in. The Marauders going against the Stalkers. Widow Mines getting some hits. That Immortal does get eviscerated there, and there's a handful of Terran units left, but not really enough to make him feel comfortable about things, and he picks up and pulls out. So he gets some damage done, and then he's like, alright, we'll jump into the third base and maybe try to do some stuff, but, ah, the Zealots are such a problem. Let's pick up and just get the heck on out of there. The Zealots are so hard for Terran to kill. If you're struggling, again, in any situation, against Terran Bio as Protoss, just make sure you got those charge lots out in front, absorbing a lot of the shots. It takes a lot of hits for both Marauders and Marines to kill them. And they're up there absorbing shots while your guys behind are actually dealing a ton more damage when it comes down to it. This Raven, the Raven has seven kills. It's a pretty effective Raven. I like it quite a bit. We do see comments from time to time, why don't Terrans just make Ravens? Well, Clem has, and he's gotten some utility out of it. So can't disagree with that too much. Looks like Clem is building a fourth base. I'm gonna try to lift that up along the left side would be my guess. Making a bunch of Vikings, almost like he expects Colossus, but that is not where we're going here today at all. No sign of it whatsoever. Pushing across the map, storming the fleeing army of Clem, and suddenly Clem's third base is in a world of hurt. 
how many SCVs will go down there? Trying to mineral walk on out of here, but that's 12 SCVs out. And might actually lose the orbital. No, it looks like it has enough HP to survive as we're getting out of here. But suddenly, it's a three base versus a two base scenario. Clem is in trouble. He recalls home some of his units at the third base to save it against the small attack of Bile. In that location, it is enough. EMP gets tossed down on some of the Protoss units. And Clem is feeling good about himself right now as far as being able to push this back. But losing a third base is massive at the moment. Some probes have died, but the income is even more in Showtime's favor now than it was in a second ago. I guess, okay, fine. We're using the Vikings to take out the Warp Prism, which is not a terrible thought. More ghosts in production. Did he get Enhanced Shockwave? Not yet. It's been too scrappy of a game for that. Dude, Showtime's taking a fourth base behind this, you guys. Clem might actually be able... Oh, is that the Orbital? He lost this one. Oh, boy. All right, so he takes the orbital that was at the third base, and he's going to land it. Oh, actually forcing a cancel on the fourth base. Clem does for Showtime top right at the fourth base location. And he's not actually trying to rebuild at the third at all. So it's still three basing Clem, even though technically he's taken four bases. He's lost one. And Showtime's fourth base is not safe either. Showtime has to respond to this attack of Clem's. Oh, sniping down a couple ghosts in there. You hear those ghost death sounds for sure. Raven heading out. Warp Prism for Showtime. They're going to meet in the middle here while this engagement is going on. Oh, the Widow Mine, though. Goodbye. Warp Prism down. Just flew directly over that Widow Mine. This attack from the north, these guys have been hitting and running for, like, the entire game, it feels like. It feels like they were born up here, and they're just hitting and running and attacking you down this way. Man, Showtime. Can't quite just get rid of these dudes entirely. They live here, apparently. Clem dancing out about, trying to see what he can get done here. And the answer is not much. A lot of his medivacs are injured. Otherwise, not really super fit for combat at the moment. Is he still not gotten... He still has not gotten enhanced shockwave. Are you kidding me right now? Crikey, mate. That said, Showtime is at 180 supply. Clem's at 171. They are going to base trade. There is no way he's going to save this Nexus. Showtime's fourth base is going to die again. Just because there's no awareness of where the army is up north, unfortunately. Uh, Showtime trying to just... I guess he's splitting. He's sending the Zealots up to try to see... Is there a base we can kill? There's a third base we can take down. Yes. He's just abandoning the third base, too. This is getting tight all of a sudden. He did recall home, so he might be able to save this with some really nice storms. But yeah, the third base of Clem. 14 SCVs have gone down. How many workers have died today for the Terran? 30. 30 have gone down in the first 12 minutes of this match. It's insanity. Enough bio does show up to basically save the base from dying entirely here. Clem is in full retreat. The high ground high Templar are throwing down storms on the retreating slow marauders. They don't want to stim because they're already so stimmed, but sometimes you just got to get out of there. And they do. They stem, they pick up, they get on out. So resources lost here, 10,000 to 10,000. Pretty even. 10,900 to 10,874. Pretty darn on the spot there. Working on Colossus with extended thermal lands. Clem is not rebuilding his Vikings at all. As he has none, he does have a couple Liberators, though, which can cause Protoss fits. There's just a number of Liberators camping out above the army can be super annoying for sure. Ground weapons finishing up on the upgrade. Top left hand corner Clem trying to take a fourth base and should be able to. Zealot's doing some damage to it but not really enough. And you know what Clem? He's found himself three base to three base. Both players with a fourth base coming in. So Clem has scratched and clawed his way back to get into this economic position where he was down a base on Showtime. And now he's cool. He's getting enhanced shockwave. The problem is, is he prepared for a Colossus? I'm not entirely sure that he is. He does have a lot of Marauders, though. 25 Marauders and 26 Marines is a hefty, hefty group of Marauders for sure. They can do pretty well against Colossus in that situation. All right, so jumping up to that fourth, trying to take it down. Is he just going to try to go for it here? I don't know. He's backing out. The Colossus have arrived, though, and they don't have range yet. So they're going to back out for the time being. Just kind of try to soften up, try to bruise up that top left-hand corner if they can. Widow Mines firing and taking out one Zealot. I mean, that's 100 minerals right there. But the range of the Colossus has kicked in, and suddenly... Uh-oh, Happy learned how to putt here. The extended thermal... Uh, or the range, rather, for the Ghost is not up. Steady targeting on High Templar. Nice snipes. 
Beautiful snipes there. War Prism trying to do some shenanigans down in the main. Getting uh, getting a ton of charge lots warped inside your main base is something everybody hates of every race. Even Protoss hate that. It's so annoying to deal with. Zerg hate it. Terran hates it for sure. Dancing, dancing, dancing. And Zealots. The War Prism survives. Sets up. Unloads. Here we go. Clem decides, ah, I gotta deal with this, apparently. Uh, the supply depots are a pretty good target. It's nothing cool like taking down a whole barracks or a factory, but supply blocking Clem here is kind of awesome, actually. So, I like it. I like it a lot. Vikings trying to land and deal with this. No, that's not gonna happen. Showtime chasing Clem up the way. Colossus pulling back. There's a disruptor in the mix now. Very nicely done. And the Zealots finally get cleaned up, but after they supply block Clem fairly heavily, down 172 available supply. Here at the 15 minute mark, Storms! Storms and Colossus and Disruptor. Showtime's like, you know how you deal with Terran is all of the splash damage. He's got a fifth base coming up, not too far from the fourth here. The resources lost 16,000 to 15,000. Plus three attack on the way from Showtime. Clem is working on four Vikings at a time because obviously the Colossus are a big concern for him. But yeah, hanging on to this fourth base is pretty nice. Both players are maxed out. Army supply bigger for Clem, but the economy is better for Showtime at the moment. Marine scouts a fifth base location. And Clem's going to head up there and try to shut that thing down. Can Showtime save it is the question right now. And the answer is I don't rightly know. Can he get up there in time? Plus three attack is on the way for the bio. Where it's just about done already for Showtime. So nice upgrade advantage there. Ooh, anti-armor missile catching mostly Archons, which is stupid because they don't rely on armor anyway good storm taking out a ghost any number of ghosts you can kill is going to be a good time for sure as a protoss player emp is getting tossed down on both sides there's your engagement though just for a second both players going for it splitting on the nova pretty effectively again pretty nice split right side at the last second and that one gets dodged 100 percent there for clem clem is good at this game guys he may be young, but he is terrifyingly excellent at playing Terran. Does he? Oh, most of his medevacs are out of energy right now. They're very low on HP, and they don't have much energy. I'm not sure about this from Clem. Yeah, he looks at it for a second and goes, eh, you know what? Let's not go up that ramp. More disruptors in production. I gotta say, it feels like Showtime has a pretty solid hold on this game, but... Clem has more supply right now. He definitely has the bigger army. Once that plus three attack kicks in, then the upgrades will be even for both players, which is nice. And Showtime has lost more. Big drop coming into the natural base. The Robos are in trouble. Oh, the Robos end up getting focused down really nicely. Warp Gate Cyan 2. Showtime does not decide to recall home. I don't know if his recall is available to him or not. It is. It's available. He just chooses not to. He decides to come into the third base of Clem, wipe it out, and then up to head up to the top left. And try to wipe that one out. We are suddenly kind of in full base race mode. Nobody is going home to defend against anything right now. Showtime's third base is under fire. His natural base is already gone. And everybody's newest source of incomes are toast. With the exception of Showtime and his top right hand base. Income right now is going to start favoring Showtime fairly immensely. This base is done. Oh, he did recall home to try to save the third base. What absolute chaos in here. Clem feels like he can handle it. He's stimming forward on top of these units. The Zelts are a problem. you got to kite away from those guys. But once they're gone, suddenly the Stalkers and the Disruptors are not as big of a deal anymore. EMP on all of that bio is so delicious. Income, yeah, for Clem is nothing at the moment. It is really, really bad. And Showtime hanging on to that fourth base. And the third base for as long as he could is also awesome here too. He allows the probes to leave. He allows them to get out of there. I think Showtime might have this game. I know Clem has the bigger army, but the income is just a huge problem right now. I don't know how Clem has any income at all. See, long he's long distance mining from that gold just outside of his gnat. That's not going to be really enough to sustain him for a while. He knows this is here. He didn't even make really a move to try to take down that top right hand fourth base of Showtime, interestingly enough. Not sure what he's up to, but he does have the plus three attack and the plus two armor. Same story for Showtime right now. Colossus just sitting back. Eight kills on that Colossus is pretty good. Reinforcements coming in from Clem. Again, the army supply is hugely favoring. Hugely favoring the Terran player right now. Clem is doing it. 75 to 46 army supply. 
That said, only has 28 workers, but has the ability to call down a couple, couple mules. Two mules worth of command centers, depending on how much energy he has right now. Clem knows he has a big army advantage, but that's going to keep dwindling as the game goes on here. So he needs to be aggressive. He can't just sit back and macro up. This top left base of Clem's is awesome, but zealots are approaching and threatening immensely. They have to get out of there. So, yes, the SCVs decide they're out. Trying to upgrade, upgrade that thing to a uh, oh, an orbital, not even a planetary. Brutal stuff. SCVs. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not sure it was up there in the top right at all, but something was happening. Showtime does not have the resources to rebuild his third base nexus at all. It would be nice if he could. Yeah, Immortal Archon, Colossus, High Templar, Disruptor is the play of the day. High Templar catches an EMP right to the face. Clem's micro is disgusting. His kiting is super good. He's wiping out these zealots. Is he going to do this? Again, he's up pretty substantially in army supply. He does a ton of damage output here. The zealots are gone. Archons and Colossus on their own versus this are not going to be great as big time hits. On that Colossus brings it all the way down to 12, oh never mind, 27 HP was effectively zero against plus three attack armor. Two High Templar in production. Top left hand base for Clem is rolling and he's got his gold base back. Dude, if Clem wins this thing, it's gonna be one of the more impressive comebacks. I will have seen from a Terran player versus a Protoss in 2020. I am seriously... Clem's stick to and refusal to say die here has been super good. He's just like, all right, well, there's not an army in this location. It's pretty central if we want to set up right here and do some threatening. Yeah, man, Showtime's army suddenly is not looking great. I mean, I know he's been at a disadvantage for a little bit here, but... EMP is getting tossed down. Look at this. Clem just dancing into the situation. Trying to... Oh, the Colossus goes down. That's your GG, Clem. Wow. Clem wins the game despite losing 70 SCVs today. Only killed 41 probes. It didn't matter. Resources lost here. 41,000 for Showtime. 32,000 for Clem. There was a place there where Clem had no basis mining and Showtime had one. And yet Clem, just with cost effectiveness... Effectiveness... Of his bio, his marines, his marauders, getting those liberators and vikings involved in w as well. Great EMPs consistently throughout the game. Just fantastic. The positioning. He never let Showtime sit back and be comfortable. He never let Showtime just macro up on those four bases. After Clem lost his bases, he went across the map and got damage done to get back into this thing. And then he won it. What a boss. I mean, that is just some of the more impressive stuff I have seen today. I mean, today and in general, honestly, from any Terran player that I've seen in 2020. All right. Good stuff, man. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was honestly very, very good. Very good nonstop play from both of those players. End of the day, though, that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.